Hello my viewers, welcome back to the channel. By the video title, you know what this video is about. Steelers, Steelers, Steelers news. Of course, we, we see a lot of different articles uh, about analysts or so-called analysts. You're saying the Steelers are going to be a losing record team and they're going to finish last in the division. They've been saying this for the past you know, few years for us and, they, and they're still doubling down on it now too, even though we have a more improved roster. I know our schedule is a little different this year, but every schedule every year is hard. It's NFL. It's any given Sunday. We've seen teams lose games they're supposed to win. Remember last year we lost to the Patriots and the Cardinals, games we should have won. Chiefs lost to the Raiders and the Broncos and they're still Super Bowl champions. So sometimes you might lose to some teams you're supposed to beat and you know, it, it just happens because it's you know, any game of Sunday. So I feel like the schedule shouldn't really matter like who you're playing. It should just matter if you're going out there and executing. I think going out there and winning and you know, and stacking up those wins for the, like for your record and um, trying to make your, get yourself to the playoffs. So we're going to see and dive into some of the stuff that's been being said going around the Steelers news and the Steelers world. Starting off first, of course, the, uh, they predicting us to go um, last, finish last in our division. And the last time the Steelers finished last was, what, 1988? The last time the Steelers finished last in the division, which was a while ago. I wasn't even alive in um, 1988. I think my mother was born in 1982, so she wasn't even alive either. So 1988 was a long, long time ago. We had Michael Jackson, you had Prince still there, James Brown was still alive, Ray Charles, all type of, type, type of people that were still alive and performing and doing things. 1988 was a long time ago. That's the last time the Steelers finished last in the division. So I, I think... It's not possible. They're not gonna happen in this coming year, especially. The Steelers have a, a better roster. Patrick Queen getting added to the roster. You um have, of course, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields getting added. You also have people like you know in the draft that the Steelers are um, scouting and looking at. I'll be adding. We got Deshaun Elliott that we added to as well as safety position. So we've been filling a lot of voice in our offense. I mean, our offense a little bit, but the big void the quarterback, of course. But filling voice in our defense and it's building it back up and getting back to that level, back to that standing of being. A picture of still the team. On um, the Steelers' record in the division, also since 2020, the past you no know, um, few years, uh, has been with 40, 26, and one. And AC North only two games behind the Baltimore Ravens, of course, who finished, who won the division a few times in that span. The Steelers have won the division in a few years. I think last time was um, the year we went 12 and um, four. We had Big Ben as our quarterback, so we're gonna see what happens. But I'm liking. Um, our team, you know, I don't think we're gonna finish eight and nine like a lot of the things are suggesting us to finish eight and nine. Um, 2003 was the last time we had a losing season, which is a while ago as well. Um, I was only like two years old, 2003. So 2003 was a long time ago. We had a losing season. The Steelers uh, find a way to win, but the losing seasons are not really the a standard right now. As Coach Thomas said himself, you know, losing seasons, he don't really care fully about that. Of course, it's a great accomplishment and accolade to have, but he said he's trying to make. Trying to win, trying to win and get uh, a bigger prize, trying to win another Super Bowl, get there to the Super Bowl again, and just um, get an opportunity and a chance to compete for a championship. Now with Russell Wilson, you get that. Justin Fields, if he develops well, you get that as well for a long run as well. So we're going to see what the Steelers do this kind of season. I um, trust in Russ. I, I trust in Russ for this season. I don't know if the Steelers are going to keep him long term after. If he um, has a good successful year, it could be a one and done deal, and we just put Justin Fields out there and let him take over the, um, the keys to the car. But we're going to see if um, Russell Wilson do good this season. But I think Russ should go out there and perform perform pretty good. I'm, I'm predicting like him to go out there at least 38 to 4,000 passing yards. You know, nothing, nothing too crazy, crazy. And probably about 25, 26, 27 touchdowns. He'll have some turnovers, of course. You know, uh, that's a part of the game. You know, part of his play style, too. Which you get um, with um, some of his um, play style abilities and ability to play make. So I think he'll probably maybe throw maybe like seven or eight and nine interceptions. Like that, maybe a few fumbles, but nothing was, was too harming to the team. So I think he'd go out there and have a pretty good season with us. And with our rushing attack and Arthur Smith calling the play, uh, plays is very good as well. Because last year we kind of just suffered from you know, situational play calling. You look at um, third and one, the Steelers would do some crazy things. Like, and if, us, if us fans at home watching from our couch or chairs, where are you watching from? Or at bars or at, I don't know, like um, parties, watch parties, anything you're doing. We, we can see the play calling before it happened. I know the defenders who study this game, the professionals who go out there and study this, and this, this is their job. I know they for sure seeing this stuff as well, because like, you'll see every time Kenny Pickett will line up on the center, tap his tap his um, tap his foot. Now, if the receiver is on the left side of him, um, you already know it's QB sneak, because um, he'll run this way, he'll run back, and then sneak it up the middle. If it's on the other side of him, then we know, so we know it's a sweep. It's gonna be a sweep, um, little toss. So the Steelers was too predictable. A lot of things they did was very predictable. You kept seeing the same out routes, the same drag routes, the same just concepts that's happening over and over. Not using the middle of the field as well, and maybe not using the middle of the field because our quarterback couldn't maybe see over the line too much, 
or couldn't throw in the middle too much. I don't care if he could have, he about 6'3", 6'4". He can see over the line, but he had the ability to, you know, like zip it across. Like that's why his, his throw motion was kind of like a baseball pitch a little bit. You don't have to grip on the football. When you can't grip the football, you got to get in that low stance to keep balance to try to throw it. That's why his inaccuracies was happening over and over around the field. But the Steelers now with Russell Wilson. I know, he had, I know Russell Wilson is like 5'10", 5'11", of course, a little shorter, but Russell Wilson have a, a, a powerful arm and ability to keep plays alive and ability to throw on a run as well. So I think with the play calling of Arthur Smith, who did a good job with the Titans as an offensive coordinator, I know people are saying that, well, Arthur Smith did terrible last year at the play caller for the um, Falcons and stuff. Well, he was he was not he was not only just the play caller with the Falcons, he was the head coach. And head coach, you, just can't, you know, you can call the plays, but you also have to be a, a head coaching um, job duties as well. So you have to go out there and wear all the hats. So you have to be the head coach, manage the whole team, offense, special teams, and defense, and they also call plays. So some people can't do, um, some people don't perform well with all that stuff on their plate. Some guys are just better at being the offensive coordinator. Some guys are better at just being a defensive coordinator. And some guys are better at just being the head coach and not calling any plays. And some guys can do um, the play calling and be the head coach. Now everybody can just do that. So I think Arthur Smith being in that role of what he's comfortable at, and just calling plays, and just being a guy, just you know, going out there and decision making and personnel, putting them out there and uh, knowing situational football as well. I think it's gonna be good and it's gonna help our team out a lot. Najee Harris should have a nice year too this year. I don't know, I know it's still gonna fill the void at center and fill the void at tackle as well to add those pieces on the line. Most likely they're gonna be their first pick, maybe first two picks, you never know. But I, I'm liking our team. I'm liking our um, pro like projections from um you know from the fandom perspective, not just being like a biased fan. I know, I know we should um, go out there at least looking at our schedule, of course. You never know what can happen any given Sunday. I think we should be able to at least win 11 games. If we can win 10 games and uh, make the playoffs with Mr. Trubisky, Kenny Pickett, and Mason Rudolph as the quarterbacks, we should be able to at least go 11 wins, 12 wins, maybe, and, and probably could possibly win the division, maybe, with um, Russell Wilson, Justin Fields in our quarterback room and add different pieces, like adding Patrick Queen on defense on um, the linebacker room as well because our linebackers last year, you know, they all got injured and got messed up. And having a um, fully healthy Minka this year, and um, Cam Hayward should help a lot. But we're gonna also draft another cornerback probably in the draft to add, because APJ did a good job last year, but adding another guy on the other side. Don't say Jackson is solid, um, veteran corner, but it, it doesn't hurt to add another guy. So I think our team is set up to be doing some nice things. I know the analysts want to see us fail and see us um, have a losing season. I don't know why they keep projecting that. They've been doing that for the past like four or five years. They keep saying it's still gonna finish last in division. It's still haven't happened. It's still gonna um, have a losing record. So that haven't happened. They're still going to miss the playoffs. I'm like, come on, like, we, we find a way to rise against the odds every single time, you know? But I think on the Steelers, if they stay um, building like they're building right now, um, of course, Omar Khan doing a very good job, um, stay building and stay adding these guys, I believe they should go out there and be able to, you know, make a run, make a run with Russell Wilson if he can perform. And it will be different, going to be different this time too as well because Russ doesn't have that pressure. You know, the pressure he had in Denver was different. In Denver, he had the pressure on him, on his shoulders, you know, they traded like what two, three first round picks for him to get him, and he, he came over there, and it was like, okay, Russ, you're supposed to be coming here to save us. We was only one quarterback away. We have the defense, we have the weapons. We one quarterback away. And that pressure got onto him, and he performed well. And then plus the following year, Sean Payton didn't really want him there, and you know you get new management. Most of the guys there don't want you there because they're like, this, this is not our guy. This is a guy from somebody else. So um, we see Russell Wilson kind of a little fallout with the Broncos, and then he released. But Russell Wilson now here, he doesn't have to be a hero. We don't even know where the Russell Wilson, the Superman cape, and go out there and save us. All we need you to do is play your part. This is the Justice League. Play your part. We don't need just one person on the Justice League. We need Batman. We need Superman. We need um, Hawk Girl. We need Flash, Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman. We need all of them to go out there and play their part so we can save the day. So that's what all we need Russell Wilson to do. You need, you know, and not, not a solo movie. This is a group movie. So we need you to go out there and just get ready and stuff. So uh, training camp is going to start. Um, right, probably after the, no, after the draft, of course. The draft is going to um, be, I think, April 25th? I think April 25th, if I'm not mistaken. April 25th is the draft. So we're going to see some cool things. I'm going to be doing a live watch party of the draft. I might be doing it at home. Or I might be doing it at the live watch party of the little station. They have one in Dallas where, like, they had a little thing. And then people have different teams and stuff. They'd be sitting watching the watch party and stuff. So I might I might go do it there. And I'll be live streaming there. So I'll let you guys know. But the memberships are coming, too, to the channel. The channel is getting some memberships as well. I've been working on the little, you know, got the art. Um, Marcus D. Butler, my cousin, um, made some of the artwork and stuff for the um, the channel and stuff. I'm gonna probably have that, that lunch maybe later, later this week or next um, week. You'll see a video probably on it too as well, um, giving you the, the rundowns on some of that stuff. But we got a lot of things coming. You know, season simulators, went back there last year too as well. I started doing it after the draft. It's kind of like just 
they um go based off your roster and your schedule and they simulate the um the season then you just react to some of the stuff that the simulator might put you in so i might do some videos on that as well like i did last year it was pretty fun doing those but we got a lot of things coming so just be on the lookout for that nba playoffs as well so just be looking out for new content that's coming to the channel but that's all i got for this today guys hope you guys enjoyed it if you did leave a like and subscribe um for more content and let me know down in the comment section down below what you got the steelers going um, in the regular season and when you have us finishing in the division as well because i have us finishing close to the top of the division either second or first in the division i feel like this year we can get back to being on top of the north the king of the north and i have us um definitely at least win 11 or 12 games so let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think and i'll see you guys next time peace out